Heavy rainfall from northern Georgia as well as water from the Flint and Chattahoochee rivers. Some Gulf County residents are underwater. With several road closures, search and rescue staff have been helping residents to get to their homes. News 13's Madeline Bierster tells us why the flooding could last for a while. Search and rescue staff say that all of the low lying areas in Gulf County are completely flooded over. They are only allowing residents through to their homes. They are advising other drivers do not take the chance and turn around and go the other direction if you do see a flooded road. Since the last big flood in 2015, many residents are used to the rising water issues. Officials say that many of these homes are vacant or fish camps. Search and rescue staff are helping keep looters out of the evacuated homes by patrolling the water and monitoring who can enter the area. Helping out the community in the morning, anything, you know, we, we carry people in and out on the do, um, trucks, you, whatever we need to do, medicine, food, water. Officials are trying to figure out how long this could last. We're, we're looking now at the Chipola to see what type of impact we may have uh, with it. Um, the river's falling, it blunts down, that's a good thing. It's crested in Weewa, but we're not seeing that water leave as quickly as it came. Chief Deputy Chris Buchanan with the Gulf County Sheriff's Office says they are advising residents to make sure they have enough supplies to take care of themselves. Monitor those forecasts and make decisions, you know, for themselves uh, to protect their property uh, and their families. Uh, make sure they have supplies on hand. Officials say the flooding could last anywhere from two to three days to even the end of next week. In Gulf County, Madeline Beerster, News 13, Panhandle Strong.